So I went to sleep praising Terra Luna and woke up to their original founder having a arrest warrant. And it's funny because somebody in one of my videos commented like, hey, Orlando, can you confirm that um, Do Kwan got a arrest warrant? And I didn't, I was too late, I was asleep. So I just go and check like my activity on YouTube and all I see is everybody is watching my old Do Kwan videos. Yeah, it might have some merit in that. I'm Lando Sess. Hope all is well, beautiful people. So this is the deal. It says regulators around the world has been carrying out investigations against Terra Form Labs founder Doquan and other related parties. Earlier this year, Terra Luna and its native stablecoin token UST shared most of their value. This resulted in a massive loss for investors, including myself. The same had a ripple effect on a broader ecosystem and the market on the whole became choppy. Per the latest development, South Korean authorities has issued a warrant for Do Kwan. I think they Do Kwan, Do Known, <laughs> indicating that they intend to arrest the terror founder. A recent Bloomberg reporter noted, according so issued a warrant for Do Kwan and five others, according to a text message from the prosecutor's office. I got to see how real this is. If we go on according to the text message, South Korea issues an arrest warrant for Luna founder Do Kwan. Capital Market Act violation by Terra. So what they are getting buddy for is... Something called the Capital Market Act. What that basically means, it is in your series, you actually learn it. It's a bunch of jargon you don't understand, but mainly they are saying Buddy didn't maintain the market integrity by reinforcing regulations against unlawful transactions. So by their company going to hell, they're using it under this act basically not keeping the market integrity by you know the capital market it's a south korean thing although the controversial issues remain in connections with the new concept introduced in legislation it is expected to be a foundation for the development of korean capital markets so you got to get buddy for something at this point because when you make this many people millionaire billionaires people i didn't kill themselves lose this much money you have to be held responsible in some type of way if you're the founder you just can't say oops my bad no nah, dog lock your ass up for about a good 10 years come back out then it'd be your bad you know because that's it's not cool so this is what happened with the price it was down you see in the last 24 hours 21 percent. it was down like 40 when it dropped all the way down right here off the news alone and it recovered and it's still down and it's choppy right now. You look back the last week, it is actually down the last week, 31%. Uh, you look back the last month and you see up 200%. So it's down, but is it down that bad? So next you look at Luna 2. Luna 2 went from $6 to $4.00. Back down close to $2. What did I tell people in the video I did the other day? A step back. And the crypto, I got to do a talk about it in a whole different video, is doing some weird stuff right now. Well, we possibly about to have a bigger crash, like a real big crash. And people going to be mad that they didn't take profits. My opinion is don't be afraid to take them profits because we all have done it. You going to want to smack yourself and beat up yourself if you... Say if it go back down to $2, you're going to be pissed because it's not necessarily going to be worth it. Take profits, come up with a game plan such as, and I know if you're on a Patreon, ask me about a game plan. I'll tell you about a game plan. I said it's going to possibly go back down to $2 or under sell right now. I gave you complete examples to cut your losses and sell now. When I just got a notification, somebody asked me, should they sell? I already told y'all what to do when it's at freaking $4. But, you know, Lambda don't know shit. Down 33%. So it took that big hit. Went up a little bit and going sideways. And up 52% last week. And the last month, 
that 200 and some percent went all the way down to only 44 percent gains. That's why I said take profits. When we was right here, I did a video letting y'all know exactly what should have did. But look at the volume. The volume is still up, so that actually look good. The volume is up over 1.6 billion. It's not what it was. Luna Classic volume is at 1.4 billion. Not what it was. Not too bad. So this is the deal. The good news is it's not the worst that can happen because because he's been the founder after all of this craziness happened. So we already knew that he wasn't shit. So that's not no breaking news. It's like a quick right now shocker make the market go down. So let's say Elon Musk get arrested today. What's going to happen to Tesla? Tesla is going to do the same thing. It's going to go down, but people still going to drive Tesla. People going to still buy the stocks. So it's going to affect the market, give articles to talk about for the next three days, 72 hours. After that, things are going to go regular. Doquan have no involvement with Terra 2 right now a little bit in Luna Classic so it's just the news right now that get everybody shocked I believe if you're a lunatic and a believer in Luna it should go back up but we shall see let me know y'all thoughts in the comments are you holding are you selling are you buying I did a video the other day Telling people it's going to go down. I didn't expect it to go down because of this. Because if this didn't happen, it wouldn't have went down. It wouldn't have did it. But it's a high risk, high return type of company right now. I'm Lando. So I'll talk to you guys soon.